Hi, this is James, and thank you for tuning in on part two of my Windows Privacy Concerns video. Like I said, this is uh, part two, and this particular video, for those of you who have already installed Windows 10, and you want to get um, kind of a handle on the privacy issue, I'm going to show you how to get Windows 10 back to the same privacy level that you had with maybe a Windows 7 or a Windows 8 and you know or you can have it be somewhere in between so let's get started we start at the start menu go to settings and you go to privacy now the very first option here this is that advertising ID that I was talking about and just to refresh your memory every person or every user of every device that has Windows 10 has an advertising ID where their um, where they browse the sites that they browse the apps that they buy the apps that they download for free the apps that they use all of that information is being gathered for the purpose of advertising so if you turn this off it doesn't collect the data anymore uh, the ID is still issued and, and and I don't know if it's your email address or if it's a completely different um, um, y y you know name but the data is not collected anymore or that's what they say with this particular click here and then you have some other options here having to do with privacy uh, you know this kind of tracks your your browsing in order to prevent phishing this sends information to Microsoft as far as your writing and typing and this uh, sends information to them as far as your language list so you kinda make the decisions on those and we will move on to the next one the next one is location now Microsoft is really invested as as with Google um, in where you go and when you go because they want to do targeted advertising so if you go to location here is the on and off for your location but realize that there's consequences for clicking this in the off in the off switch if you go down a little bit further here are all the programs that ask for your location you obviously you have maps you have weather but you also have your personal assistant so you know probably 25 percent of the features of Cortana really depend upon knowing either where you are now where you were yesterday or where you go like every day so if you click this in the off position and if you notice Cortana is one of the few that has it kind of blocked out so if you have it on it wants to track that that information Okay, so there's your location. Now the next one is speech, inking, and typing. In the previous video, I was telling you how much data Cortana uh, collects from you in order to service you, to get to know you. There really is no on or off for it. Once you agree, it, it's on and that's just it but here and they kinda hit it in a, in, a, in a way under speech inking and typing who's really gonna ever go there unless you're specifically looking looking for something but if you notice this really turns all of the features as far as Cortana getting to know you off it even says Windows and Cortana can get to know your voice and writing to make better suggestions for you we collect info like contacts, recent calendar events, speech and handwriting patterns, and typing history. So, you click this button, for all practical purposes, you, you, you know, you're probably cutting off maybe 50, 60, 75 percent of the features of your personal assistant. So that is something to kind of consider and think about. And again, I'm, I'm not telling anyone that they should do this. Um, I just want to kind of give people the options of just knowing, hey, you know, I will do this or I want them to know this or whatever the case may be. Now, the next one that we're going to go to, let me check my notes here, 
is other devices. Other devices is, now this one is kind of interesting. Um, the very first one is syncing with devices that you don't ordinarily pair with. Um, an example is Microsoft developed a um, these little boxes and they're called beacons and they were being installed all around a test city to help blind people so if a person was blind and they were walking with their seeing eye dog when their phone passed by one of these beacons it would automatically connect and maybe tell that person as far as what's there that they didn't order ordinarily know like hey here's Starbucks we're having you know a dollar off on coffee or this or what so this allows your computer or your device to sync and share certain certain types of information with devices that you normally are not familiar with like a phone or a tablet uh, so again that can be on or off here's your trusted devices so any devices that are trusted I mean here this is an external drive that I have uh, it could be phones, it could be tablets, whatever the case may be, and this is their their you know trusted devices option right there, okay. And then we go back to settings, and then if we go to networking, somewhere down towards the middle you're going to see something that says manage Wi-Fi settings right here. Managing Wi-Fi settings. Again, in the previous video, I was talking about how if you go into, say, an internet cafe, you connect to that internet site with your laptop and you type in a password, that if you pulled out your tablet also using Windows 10 and you were logged in as the same person, the password for that hotspot would already be populated. So that's where this is, and it's called Wi Fi Sense. Wi Fi Sense connects you to suggested Wi Fi hotspots and to Wi Fi networks that your contacts share with you. So this is something that is fairly new. I'm not quite sure how, how I feel about it. It has the potential to be kind of cool, but I can see where it could be scary too. So here, connect to suggested open hot hotspots. You know, that's not all that that scary. Connect to networks shared by my contacts. So if there's someone in your contacts and they go to a particular place or whatever the case may be, basically if they're in your contacts and they've been there, this will allow you, this will tell your computer, hey, connect to this particular Wi-Fi now how they do it is kind of interesting if you look down here for networks I select share them with my Outlook contacts Skype contacts Facebook friends so basically when you go someplace and you log into their Wi-Fi you are almost telling your computer hey it's okay to let these other people know not only that I go there but allow them to connect to that same Wi-Fi so again that's just something you you might want to consider I'm not saying it's bad I'm not saying it's good I'm just saying it's something that you might want to you know consider okay now last but not least it's not actually a menu option on your computer it's actually a website so you open up your edge browser or you don't have to use edge you can use Chrome also but we'll use the edge edge browser and it is this site right here so you click on it and it takes you to this page here what this page allows you to do is it allows you to opt out of Microsoft personalized ad preferences so basically your ads will still be displayed 
when you browse but they won't be personalized to you and, and so um, you know personalized ad whenever I use my Microsoft account it is one of those things to where I don't want to make Microsoft out to be the bad guy here because Google has been doing this forever so it is just one of those things where if you're comfortable with it great there everything is already on you don't have to do anything if there's some things you're not comfortable with well then turn them off just realize when you turn them off Microsoft has made it so that when you turn them off your experience as far as using Windows 10 is gonna suffer a little bit I mean it's still gonna be usable but just as far as the connectivity and and everything syncing together and, and everything else like that when you start turning some of those privacy settings off um, you do lose some benefits so that's just the decision that you have to decide and again this one just go through read it turn off the things you want leave the things that you're okay with and um, that is it so please do me a favor give me a like on this video and please subscribe and if you have any questions please do not hesitate to leave me a message I try to get back to everybody within the same day so thank you very much and I hope this video has been helpful to you bye bye